beaming James Matthews arrives at the church flanked by ushers James Middleton and brother Spencer as he awaits his bride. He's about to tie the knot with a woman he chased for 10 years, so it's hardly surprising that James Matthews couldn't hide his smile as he arrived at St. Mark's Church today. The 41-year-old hedge fund manager was in high spirits as he arrived flanked by ushers James Middleton and Spencer Matthews ahead of the society wedding of the year. The dapper man shared a few laughs as they waited nervously outside the church, whilst hundreds of guests, including James Middleton's girlfriend Donna Aaron Roger Federer, and well-wishers descended on the church. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge cut it fine as they set off from Kensington Palace with just a few hours to spare ahead of Piper Middleton's wedding today. The couple, who were dressed to impress in their wedding outfits, were seen driving through London as they made the 50-mile journey to St. Mark's Church in Berkshire. Prince William, who looked dapper in a satin waistcoat and red tie, drove his family of four in their Range Rover to the society wedding of the decade. Kate, meanwhile, gave a hint of her outfit and donned a peach fascinator, a color she often plumps for when dressing for formal events. The Duchess of Cambridge's sister Pippa, 33, will say her vows to millionaire groom James Matthews, 41, today at an event dubbed the Society Wedding of the Year. Society types, royals and maiden Chelsea stars will descend on the quiet village of Englefield on Saturday to watch Pippa Middleton and James Matthews say I do. The couple's nuptials are taking place in the picturesque Berkshire Church before a congregation, which includes the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte, Prince Harry and other close family and friends. Prince Harry's girlfriend Meghan Markle will make an appearance alongside a royal beau after landing in London on Tuesday evening. Well-placed sources say the relationship is extremely serious and that Meghan's invitation to Pippa's wedding is the ultimate endorsement, meaning she could be a potential princess. The event will see hundreds of royal fans, press and public descend on the quiet village of Anglefield, near Reading, which is home to St. Mark's Church, where the ceremony took place. Kate's parents and siblings spent the night in their hometown of Buckleberry as they prepare for the society wedding of the year, but the Duchess of Cambridge was spotted driving through London on Friday afternoon. It is thought that Kate attended the rehearsals for Sister Pippa's wedding at St. Mark's Church before driving her Range Rover back to Kensington Palace. Kate's children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, are acting as page boy and flower girl at the nuptials, so the mother of two most likely had plenty to organize back in the city. Also spotted making last-minute preparations for the wedding was Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's girlfriend, who was seen outside a Soho spa after flying into London to join her royal beau at St. Mark's tomorrow. Casually dressed in leggings, a hoodie, a baseball cap and shades, albeit with the addition of an expensive mulberry handbag, the suit star lingered outside the venue as she waited for a driver, likely to whisk her back to Harry's Kensington Palace apartment. Details of today's wedding service, reception and celebrations have been kept under wraps by organizers, but there has been speculation that the day is setting Pippa's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, back hundreds of thousands of pounds. An expensive glass marquee has been hired for the evening event, as have vintage cars and modern prestige vehicles and posh portable toilets. Reports suggest it will be a lavish affair, with a nod to the groom's Scottish connections included in his outfit, entertainment and the food, with haggis on the menu along with Scottish lamb and whiskey, while there will also be a piper and a spitfire fly past.